Imagine a sea monster with jaws like a death zipper. That was the initial portrait of Atopodentatus, a creature that appeared right after Earth's largest extinction event. But what if that portrait was completely wrong? Today, we embark on a 247 million year detective adventure. This is not just a story about a strange fossil, but also about how science corrected a spectacular mistake, revealing a truth about ancient life even more astonishing than imagination. Our story begins in Yunnan province, China, a place famous for its hundreds of millions of years old fossils. Here in ancient sedimentary layers, paleontologists found a nearly complete skeleton of a marine reptile that no one had ever seen before. From the first glance, they knew they had something extremely special in their hands. This creature was about three meters long, weighing about 105 to 150 kilos with a slender body and its limbs and hips were still quite strong, indicating that it did not live entirely underwater. It could both swim in shallow seas and crawl on land. But what stunned everyone was not its body, but its skull. Although it had been severely crushed and deformed after millions of years, what remained of it painted an incredible portrait. The creature's upper jaw looked like a zipper, a row of small, needle-sharp teeth ran along the jawline. But the strangest thing was that in the middle, the upper jaw seemed to be split in half vertically. And that gap was also riddled with similar teeth. It created a deadly zipper smile, a structure never before seen in any reptile living or extinct. With this grotesque jaw, the name Atopodentatus unicus was born. It means strange and unique teeth. Immediately, a heated debate erupted in the scientific community. How could a creature with such a jaw eat? The initial hypothesis, and also the most reasonable at the time, was that a Topodentatus must have been a predator. But how did it hunt? Some suggested that the zipper jaw functioned like a sieve, used to scoop up small prey such as shrimp and crustaceans from the mud at the bottom of the sea, and the needle-like teeth would filter and retain the prey. Another hypothesis was more gruesome, imagining a topodentatus using its vertical tooth-filled mouth to cut a line on the carcasses of larger marine creatures and tear off their flesh. That image was truly haunting. The world of paleontology at that time had a new monster. Early reconstructions depicted a ferocious uh, atopodentatus, a bizarre predator of the Triassic Ocean. It became a prime example of nature's strange evolution. However, science always has room for surprises. The first pieces, though fascinating, sometimes lead us astray. A sense of doubt remained. Was that zipper jaw really effective for hunting? Or was there another explanation? These questions remained unanswered, awaiting new evidence, a real twist in this detective story. And then that twist came. In 2016, two years after the initial announcement, also in Yunnan, another group of scientists found two more new skull fossils of the same species. This time, luck was on their side. The two skulls were almost perfectly preserved and importantly, not crushed like the first specimen. They were the key to unraveling the entire mystery. When the scientists, led by Dr. Lee Chun, cleaned the new specimens, they had a groundbreaking moment that changed everything. It turned out that the vertical zipper jaw, the detail that had shaped our entire perception of Atopodentatus, was completely an illusion. It was merely the result of the first fossil specimen being broken and the jaw fragments being pressed together incorrectly. The truth was far stranger and more astonishing. The skull of Atopodentatus had no gap in the middle at all. Instead, it was wide and flat, forming a shape similar to the head of a hammerhead shark. The entire front part of the upper and lower jaws flared out to the sides, creating a flat, wide surface like a shovel. And what about the teeth? The needle-sharp teeth were not the primary weapon. Instead, at the front edge of this hammerhead was a row of hard, strong teeth resembling chisels. 
These were the true working tools of Atopodentatus. The smaller needle teeth were still present, but they were located deep inside the mouth. This was the twist of the story. A hammer-shaped flat jaw with chisel-like teeth at the front is not the tool of a predator. It was not designed to catch, hold, or tear prey. It was created for an entirely different purpose, a purpose that would completely redefine the position of Atopodentatus. Scientists realized they were looking at the toolkit of a herbivore. Atopodentatus was not a carnivorous monster. It was a vegetarian marine reptile. This discovery caused a sensation. At the time, it was believed that herbivorous marine reptiles appeared much later in history. Finding a specialized herbivore living only a few million years after the Permian-Triassic extinction event was extraordinary. Atopodentatus suddenly became the first known herbivorous marine reptile in history. From a mysterious predator, the portrait of Atopodentatus was completely redrawn. It transformed into a gentle creature, an ocean gardener, using its unique toolkit to exploit a food source that no other reptile of its time paid attention to. So where does Atopodentatus belong on the evolutionary tree? Analysis shows it's a member of Sauropteregia, also known as fin lizards. This was an extremely successful branch of marine reptiles, which would later include the famous long-necked plesiosaurs and short-necked pliosaurs of the Jurassic period. Atopodentatus is one of the earliest members, an ancient uncle, showing us the first and strangest evolutionary experiments of this reptile branch just before they truly dominated the ocean. Now the question is no longer how did it hunt, but how could a hammerhead be used for vegetarianism? With the new image of a hammer-shaped head, scientists set about deciphering a Topodentatus unique feeding mechanism. The picture of its lifestyle gradually became clear and incredibly fascinating. Imagine a Topodentatus swimming slowly in the shallow, warm waters of the ancient Tethys Sea. The seabed was covered with mats of algae and seaweed growing attached to rocks. This was its food source. When approaching an underwater grassland, a Topodentatus would use its hammerhead as a multi-purpose tool. The chisel-shaped teeth at the front would act like a rake. It would press its flat head against the seabed using its strong teeth to scrape and peel layers of vegetation off the rocks. This action is similar to how a gardener uses a hoe to turn over soil. So how did it collect the scraped food? After scraping, a Topodentatus would open its mouth and suck in a large gulp of a mixture of water, vegetation and even rock debris. At this point, the hundreds of needle-shaped teeth located deep inside its mouth would come into play. They formed a dense network acting like a sieve. The animal would press its tongue against the roof of its mouth, pushing water out through the gaps between its teeth while all the plant material was retained inside. This was an extremely sophisticated form of filter feeding, combining scraping and filtering. You can imagine it as an underwater vacuum cleaner with the suction head being the hammer jaw used to scrape off food and the filter bag being the internal needle tooth system. This mechanism allowed a Topodentatus to exploit a resource that other marine reptiles, which had jaws for hunting fish, could not access. It found a completely new ecological niche and monopolized it. A Topodentatus's lifestyle was not limited to underwater. Fossils show that it had strong limbs, not yet fully transformed into fins like later ichthyosaurs or plesiosaurs. This indicates that a Topodentatus was a semi-aquatic creature. It spent most of its time foraging in shallow seas, but could also come ashore to rest, sunbathe or lay eggs, similar to modern sea turtles or newts. This ability made it more flexible and allowed it to avoid large offshore predators. The life of a Topodentatus was a symphony of adaptation. From its hammerhead, double set of teeth, to its semi-aquatic body, every detail was refined to serve a unique lifestyle. A gentle farmer of the ocean, diligently harvesting the seaweed fields on the seabed, an image completely contrary to the monstrous portrait we once mistakenly believed. 
So what happened to this hammer-headed gardener? Why don't we see them continuing to thrive in the Jurassic or Cretaceous periods? The truth is, the fossil record of a Topodentatus seems to be limited to the Middle Triassic. They disappeared from Earth relatively quickly after their appearance. There is no evidence of a specific mass extinction event that wiped them out. Instead, its disappearance might be a story of competition and change. The Triassic period was a vibrant evolutionary laboratory. As new, more flexible marine reptiles emerged, they began to compete directly. A Topodentatus's design, though unique, was too specialized. It relied entirely on algae growing on rocks in shallow waters. As the environment changed and new competitors appeared, its ecological niche gradually narrowed. It was not a failure, but a perfect pioneer for its time, but ultimately gave way to more flexible and long-term successful designs. The deciphering of a Topodentatus is not just about a strange creature. It is a turning point, forcing paleontologists to rewrite the history of life with two shocking discoveries. First, life recovered faster than we thought. After the great dying 252 million years ago, it was once believed that life needed 10 million years to recover. However, a Topodentatus, a highly specialized creature, appeared only five to six million years later. This proves that nature recovered and diversified much more boldly and quickly than we imagined. Second, ecosystems are more complex than we thought. Previously, people imagined the early Triassic seas only had predators and prey, but the presence of a large herbivorous species like a Topodentatus added a completely new link. It demonstrates that just a few million years after the apocalypse, the ocean already had a multi-layered ecosystem with plants, herbivores and carnivores. A Topodentatus represents an entire trophic level that we once thought did not exist. The discovery of a Topodentatus is a powerful reminder that the fossil record always holds surprises. It shows that science is a self-correcting process. A broken fossil fragment can lead to a false hypothesis, but a new discovery can reveal a truth far more astonishing. What do you think about this strange creature? A Topodentatus is proof of life's unlimited adaptability, a creature both strange and beautiful in its existence. If you're passionate about exploring the incredible creatures that once walked our planet, subscribe to the channel and let us know which prehistoric species you'd like to learn about next. Thanks for watching and see you in future time travels.